Hello, welcome to an Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we are going to be going through, I guess, my first impressions, kind of how I'm feeling, a kind of a first look, my review. I don't know how many different ways I can kind of say that, but like this is a video about Alchemy Stars closed beta testing. I fortunately had some help from the community to get some like footage and stuff like from the closed beta, as well as like some brief access to it. Just take it more as kind of like a sneak peek as to what it could be. Guys, do keep in mind that this is closed beta test footage, so like don't take this as what the final product will be. With that being said, let's jump right into the video and let's talk about the game itself. So again, guys, this is Alchemy Stars. This is the UI. Uh, we've got the character in the middle. You've got the live 2D toggle. You can turn it on and off. We've got the main money currency. We've got the energy here and we've got the premium currency over here. After that, what we have are pretty basic. Like the UI is pretty, it's pretty straightforward, right? You've got the story mode here. You've got the quest to do and then you've got the base, I think it's called. In this game, it's called the Colossus, but we'll get into it real soon. So over here, we've got the recruit button which is the gacha button and along the bottom we've got a bunch of other things such as our profile so if i click into here you can see i have some support orions sorry that's support aurorians this game is like really into auroras and stuff so yeah that's the right word for it so yeah support aurorians so you can select one person for each element i don't know why i don't have anyone selected here so i'm just like slap some girls over here some dudes my dudes over here it's like just a summary of everything we've got an id you've got a little profile pic i believe you can also get like borders and stuff so that's pretty cool so here's just a quick look at what you've got for all of these different things. Eventually, we'll also be able to get frames, which is nice. Like, look at that. That's pretty sick. Reminds me of Epic 7, which is nice. I like that little bit of customization. All right, guys, with that being said, let's get into some gameplay. So I'm just going to go into the story and pick a stage. All right, guys, so we are in the story mode. So as you can see, 2 one two, 2 This is very, very familiar. Like, all kinds of games has this kind of stuff. Like, you just move your battleship around and stuff. So in the stage, as always, we have a three-star condition, and we have all of these exploration rewards. Honestly, if you played other games like Ark Knights, like this is going to be very, very familiar to you. What is a little bit different about this game is that we do get the enemy intel at the very start, whereas you had to actually do it first in Ark Knights. So as you can see, we have three elements there. However, I'm just going to click this counter circle so that you can see all of the four elements. So in this game, I believe the elements only affect outbound damage. So for example, you have the water doing 120% more damage to fire. This is quite nice because it means that you don't have to run mono teams, but then I guess you run the risk of some units being like insanely broken and like they are a just able to be able to fit into any team like disregarding this kind of counter circle thing we'll see how they handle it but hopefully the team will be able to balance it quite well all right so let me just get into a battle so i'm actually going to go over here which is the resource button so this resources tab like you guys already know what it is i'm just going to be farming like my upgrade materials like for money i'm going to farm stuff to upgrade my base right now i'm just going to farm something to upgrade my base so again guys colossus is my base and i'm just going to go farm some colossus materials so let's get right into it and see what we do all right so i've actually cleared this one before so this one's quite interesting where up here you've got carriers essentially this is like your stamina stacking thing so it saves you time so you have four per day i think every time you use one you consume double the energy for double rewards it just kind of like helps you speed things up so that's pretty nice all right guys so i'm gonna attempt this but before i go in you're gonna see that there is an auto battle button up here so when we get into the game you'll realize like you know there's a lot of like colorful tiles and stuff just know that it is all randomized and that this auto battle is going to be like different every single time to unlock the auto battle you have to finish it once which is like kind of fair enough all right let's get into the battle itself let me hit this attempt and we've got my team look at my beautiful iridan all right guys here is the first secret question who does iridan look like and you guys will kind of discover a little bit about my taste you know it's pretty damn obvious but let me just like take you through my team i've got like a duo team it's not like i really like tried to put this together it's just what kind of worked i've got some lightning heroes and i've got some water heroes and it's just because like i couldn't really make a mono team work i'll probably explain more about that in another video like when we start getting into like optimizations and stuff but essentially like at the start of the game it's pretty hard to run mono teams so i've got like a bunch of dps's and i've got a healer here this is actually like your starter welfare unit so for arc knights plays it's like your amia however the difference between vice which is this character and amia is that vice is actually really freaking strong which is really cool because like i tend to like our like main characters all right let's get into the game itself start battle so let's see what happens all right here we go so we've got our little like characters coming in and we are going to be defending this engine looking thing all right so here is the UI and we have a bunch of tiles. So like I said, if you're going to order every single time you come into the stage, it's going to be different, but the order just knows like what to pick up and stuff. So you got a two times up here. You got an auto play up here and you've got this like three up here. This three allows you to change your leader like once per turn three times. Changing your leader has so many tactical implications, but we'll talk about that another day. Over here, you've got like all of your skills. So like you see that there is a timer over here. This means that only after three turns will I be able to use Iridan's skill. If I go ahead and click on her, you'll see her skill, which is to be able to convert 
of grids into yellow prism grids. Essentially, she allows me to like insert more yellow grids to make my gameplay a little bit more smoother. All right, so let me just click out of that. And we've got remaining rounds down here. And let's just freaking go and kill some monsters, all right? So the way that this works is that whichever color tile I step on, those characters in my inventory, like these three, for example, if I step on yellow tiles, only my yellow characters are going to attack. On top of that, only when I reach a square that is adjacent to the enemy will I be able to attack. So what this means is that if I come over here and then I come down, I'm going to attack this guy once. I'm going to come over here, attack this guy a second time. And that's kind of all that's going to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, except I'm going to do this because like as you get more like squares, you get more combos, which leads to you doing a little bit more damage. So I'm going to be able to get 14 combo, which is pretty sick. So you see that smack, 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 smack. However, you notice that there were only three heroes that came out. Okay, actually that was, that was a lot that was just going on then. So what happens is that at the end of the combo, you do like a chain combo skill or something like that. It's called something like that. If you get enough squares, then like the characters that came out with you. So in this instance, we have three of them. Those three characters, depending on a couple of things, like they will activate their skills. So over here, I'm looking kind of stuck because I only have the option of going either green, which takes me nowhere and going blue, which also takes me nowhere. I guess I should have thought things through, but I'm just going to like run up over here so I can get to the yellow next turn. All right, so my skill is ready. So this is kind of like puzzles and dragons where like you kind of use your skill first. I'm just going to click on her and this is just going to do a whole bunch of damage to all of the enemies on the screen. Initiate that and then it's just going to happen. Bam, bam, bam. And then I'm going to still be able to take my turn. All right. So I've got a quick yellow path here. I'm just going to do that and let's go. Bam, bam. And hopefully everything should die. All right, so we've got everyone's skills up. So I'm going to use this Vice's skill. This is just going to launch a bunch of arrows. It's just more damage. So bam, 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 bam. It's pretty, pretty nice. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy's skill. So his or her, I'm not sure his skill, it does damage to nine tiles. So that's pretty straightforward, right? However, what you do see is that this monster is occupying four squares. This is nice because whilst the bigger monsters are more stronger, they are more susceptible to damage, AOE damage. So what I'm saying is that since I'm attacking nine squares, I'm going to attack this guy like four times. That's pretty nice. So let's initiate that and see if that is exactly what happens. Bam, 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 bam. That's nice. I really like that because I think that is how it should work. But I guess what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to walk back here because I have a combo with these blue squares that I could actually like use after. All right, so this guy's walked up. So I'm just going to come up here and like fire off at him and then come up and end on this square. And you can see my blue characters are actually coming out now and they're using their skills. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so I've just got a whole bunch of skills. I'm just going to use this initiate. It's just going to like blow them up. And then I'm going to show you guys Iridin's skill, which is pretty cool. Iridin's skill is, I guess, what we call like painting. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to paint two tiles into yellow tiles. On top of that though, they're not only yellow tiles, they're yellow prism grids, which are a little bit special. What they do is that they actually extend the tiles in the direction that you are running. So if I put one here, I know that it's going to extend it up to here. And then, so I'm going to put another one over here. So I'm going to initiate that and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So we've got the yellow tiles, rather the prisms over here. I'm now going to run over here. Bam. You see that extension. Woo. That is pretty sick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop around here and do all the sick damage. And that is a 13 plus combo. That's, you see how like you can just really big brain some of these things. So I'm just going to let that play because that is going to be really big. Look at all that. It's just, it's just big damage. It's just big damage. All right. So I kind of stuffed myself because this guy is like over here and I have no way to get to him. However, what I do see is I could take this blue path this turn. And then when he walks up there, I can take this red path and go smack him. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm just going to like walk up to here, something like that. All right. So he did move forward. So what I could do is I could use these red squares to go up and attack him. But before that, I'm just going to like nuke him with all of my skills just because I can. Poor guy is getting like wrecked. I don't think I'm even going to have to like walk up to kill him. And, and there he goes. So you can see like Vice is like... She really, she is really, really good because she can like hit like enemies that are everywhere. But like, you know, I guess we'll save that kind of talk to like when I actually do like the really solid AS content. So, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of just like early game kind of gameplay. From here on out, I'm just going to get into the rest of the UI and I will show you guys a little bit like of what we're dealing with here. All right. So let's just go home and see what else we can do. All right. So what else do we have? So I'm just going to show you guys the quest tab. So this is just where all of your quests live. So we've got the dailies here and you guys you know what we have. We have a claim all button which a couple of like gachas don't have surprisingly i'm just gonna smash that and i'm gonna get all of these presents Ooh, baby it's a nice system because you don't have to like finish all of them to get like the 100 point bonus package all right aside from that we have the rest of the quest down here so we've got plot and then this is just it's all quests it's all quests where you can claim stuff you're like you guys already know there's a freaking shining dot <laughs> there's stuff to claim there's stuff to claim you know all right i'm just gonna skip this because there's way too much stuff to claim but i think you guys get the idea right i'm gonna show you guys the colossus which is the aircraft base kind of thing. And so this 
is your boy and he is a ship. Yeah, he is indeed a ship. So the funny thing about this one is that it is remarkably similar to Arknights where you've got like a whole bunch of rooms, like you even have like the drones kind of thing. And then like there's just a whole bunch of other stuff going on, right? So you get your resources, you get like a stamina recharging thing in here. You can put like your characters in there so you can assign like, for example, this is Vice. You can kind of tap on them and like things happen. I don't know why it's grayed out right now. It's a little bit weird. Okay, so I think it's just a little bit buggy. But then like you have your upgrades facility message over here. Oh, look, I can upgrade my bridge, which is probably like my main room. I'm just going to go ahead and slam that. Let's go. Time required zero. That's pretty nice. Okay, so wow, sick animations, bro. And let's see if anything actually comes out of this. Kind of looks the same, man. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I can add someone else to actually help out. So nice. So as you can see, I can assign operators to like the rooms and they will actually complete different tasks. They'll have like different effects. So the difference between this one and Arknights is that they don't actually consume stamina. So I don't have to worry about like putting them to bed or anything. All right, let's just get out of here. So as you can see, like this is kind of it. You got the lobby and I think you can actually like put furniture everywhere. I just haven't figured out how. But you can see like, you know, there are a bunch of chairs up here and stuff. Like I actually, I, oh. What is that? It's a bit weird. Gray. All right, I didn't know that I'd get into a cutscene. Um, but I guess this is a good time to show you guys, like you know, all cutscenes they all have the live 2D. It's really, really nice from a production value point of view. I really like it because you know we got the live 2D going on. I know there are a bunch of you that are like really into Hollow Live and stuff, and this is like probably right up your alley. We've got the really great voice acting. The art generally is just quite nice. One critique that I do have for this one is that when you do the recap, it's really annoying because like you have to scroll all the way down. What I mean by that is that the top message is going to be the first message and the last message message that you saw is going to be at the very bottom. So I'm just going to show you guys what I mean. I'm just going to like skip through the text a little bit and then you guys can see. All right guys, so I've just clicked ahead a little bit and as you can see, this is like the very first text and to see what I saw last, I have to actually scroll all the way to the bottom and see this. It's a little bit annoying and if I could give some feedback, I would really ask that, you know, like when I click that recap button, that I'd be taken all the way down to the most recent like conversation. I'm going to click out of this and I will see you guys at the end of this conversation. All right guys, so I got out of that cutscene and we are back in the base and I am, I think I I'm like pretty done with showing you guys the base actually. You guys already know, I'm just gonna, oh, what's this button? Connect power, okay, I guess I'll do that. So I guess it's probably like letting me like into this room now. So hopefully I can get more stuff in. Lumina grid, I'm not sure what this is, but like I'm sure you guys can like kind of imagine. I'm gonna just throw in an operator. He's got the skill and he is, oh, okay, I know what this is. This is kind of like your power station where you can like regenerate your fireflies and that's it. All right, let's get out of here and let's have a look at some other things. So come on, let's go home. All right, guys, I'll show you the gachas very, very soon, but let me just show you everything else before that. Again, back along the bottom, we've got the store over here. I don't think there are any in-app purchases right now. So as you can see, they are locked away. However, there is a mystery store or is it secret store or black store? But like this, I think it refreshes like every day. I'm not sure what this yellow currency is, but I'm sure we'll be able to get it. But like, we've also got this one over here. So this is kind of like your daily store. Depending on what you want, you might want to buy it out. So you've also got like the negative 20% discount, stuff like that. Aside from that, um, there's not much else I can show you from the store. So I'm just going to go back, show you guys the Aurorians, which is just like your units tab. They're pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to click into Iridan. Iridan is top notch. So here, very, very standard stuff. You got the stats over here. You got the skills over here. You can see all of them over here. If I click out of this, we can go over to Aurorian upgrade, which is where you level up. So this is just like materials to use. So on top of that, we've also got ascension and breakthrough. So you guys can already see, we need a bunch of materials. It's kind of going like your like elite two kind of thing. I obviously don't have enough materials, so I'm just gonna pop out of that. And then on top of that, we've got breakthrough, which is I think where you use your dupes. So we've got this stuff over here, which is your soul amber. So I think I've already unlocked to my first one, which is giving me HP. So these ones are kind of whatever, but then you can see like there are a couple of little bit more game breaking ones, such as this one where it actually like changes the effects of your skills. And I think this one over here as well. So as you can see over here, you are going to need the Iridan dupe. So be wary of that. But aside from that, I think you guys get the idea about this one. So I'm just going to get out of this. Next, we've got formation, which is where you actually create your team. So here you see it's the same as when I was going into battle. Not much to say here. You can make four teams. I'm just going to get out of it. Next, we've got Illustra, which is kind of like your scrapbook or like your knowledge base. So you can actually just click in. It's remarkably similar to Arknights. There are a lot of systems in this that I would say are, let's say, inspired by Arknights, right? So yeah, unfortunately, you can only look at the characters that you already have. But what I can see over here is that we have the gifting. So gifting, this is pretty standard. Like you give gifts and then like it increases like their likeness meter. Honestly, I'm not sure what happens when you like max it out or whatever, but I guess we'll find out as we keep playing. Lastly, we've got the warehouse, which is just kind of like where you store your items. So as you can see, it's just a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay, I just want you guys to like kind of take note of this. Like, look at that. 
All right, and like kind of look look at the load screens in between. So if I click into here, we're gonna have like a load screen. It's it's loading, it's loading. Um, it's doing all right. Okay, so this is our beginner banner, as you can see. It's pretty nice. So actually what happens here is that you're gonna be able to roll 21 times. In the first 11 recruits, you get a five or a six star Aurorian. And whether you got a six star Aurorian or not in the first 20 recruits, in the 21st recruit, you will get a six star Aurorian for sure. Below here, we have the chances. So as you can see, the six star Aurorians, which are the highest ones, they have a probability of 2% to drop. Then we've got the five stars, the four stars, etc. At the very bottom here, you can see we have the transformation info. So if you get duplicates, what exactly happens to them? So here you can see if I got my duplicate Iridan, I would get the duplicate Iridan Soul Ember. And then a bunch of Heartstones and Star Gems, which I suppose are for upgrading the characters as well. All right, let me get out of that and I will show you guys the roll itself. So as you can see here, it cost 150 because it is 50% off. However, if I went to the standard banner over here, it actually is not using that. It's a little bit weird. Okay, I guess I'm just going to come back here. You know what, guys? Let's let's do it. Let's do it for the video. Let's do a roll. Let's hit a roll, okay? Let's, let's do a 10x. Oh God, here we go let's see what we get come on please be something good please be something good all right here is the animation and we're gonna pull this lever bam um oh oh i think that might be a six star that might be a hit dude dude wait this is a little bit lucky okay two four this is a five star false oh look at that it's, it's kind of sick look at the background look at that oh i want you guys to notice that and i'll come back to it a little bit later because i guess it's a little bit of criticism all right let's just keep going so we've got a three star here and we've got the tiny one i think this is a dupe next we've got another three star looks like a jomu next we've got what do we have next another three stars a lot of three stars white dwarf it's kind of cute uh, as you can see, there are actually quite a lot of husband doors. And I think I just found another waifu. God damn, Chloe. All right, let's keep going. So what do we have next? Another three star. Uh, I guess what I can say is that they appeal to everybody's tastes. Let's put it that way, okay? So let's just go on to the next one. Let's see what we get. One, two, three, four. Silver. So this is actually a dupe. And you can actually see up here, this one up here. This is the duplicate uh, Soul Amber. So I'll be able to use this to unlock his constellations or passive or potentials or whatever you want to call it. So in this game, they're going to be calling it Breakthrough. All right, let's go to the next one. Come on, show me the six star already. Oh, this, okay, another four star. Another silver. Okay, I hope he is not going to like creep up on me on the launch. Wow, they really do have something for everybody. I uh, wait, this looks like it came out of a cartoon. That's really interesting. Where is my six star? <gasps> oh, baby, we actually got a six star. Holy crap. What do we get? Honestly, I like what I see. I like what I see a lot. Very, very waifu. But again, I want you guys to kind of pay attention like to that background. Have a look at that. Again, it's just one of my small criticisms to the game that we'll talk about later. All right, so we've got Nikina. So that's really cool. Let's see what we get next. I think that was the last one, actually. Dude, what the heck? My luck is cracked. Let's freaking go. I believe this is the 20th pull. So what that means is that I actually have a 21st pull as well. So I'm going to get another six star, I think. Nope. So that was my free six star. Okay, I guess I, I take what I can. All right, so what What's nice over here is that you can actually see the pity counter, which is really cool. Let's go into the details and we have a whole bunch of the Orions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. La, da, da, da. It's the same exact like kind of info. However, what we do have is the rules for like the pity counter. So this is actually quite generous. I quite like this. So our base rate is 2%. If we don't get a six star by 50 recruitments, every pull after is going to add a 2.5% rate to our base rate. So that means that the 51st attempt is going to be a 4.5%. The 52nd is going to be a 7%. The 53rd attempt is going to be a 9.5%. So this means that you're going to be able to draw a 6-star Aurorian relatively fast if you're relying on the pity system. I believe this is a little bit higher than Arknights. I believe it's like a 2% thing. But yeah, for you guys who already play Arknights, like this is going to be a very, very familiar system. All right, let's get out of that. And <laughs> all right, you know what? I've got 24 rolls. Let's just do another tenner. Let's see what we get. All right, let's just see what we get. Do I get to pull the lever again? Okay, let's actually see. Look, there's some sparks there. I wonder if that means anything i wonder if that means like a six star or something what the f what what is okay i'm just gonna skip because i don't want to bore you guys like let's see what we get is oh wait okay oh wait i can't skip through oh that's so weird okay i can't wait wait i can't skip it wait i click skip but i can't skip wait a second does your skip button not work all right holy shit we got a six star again eh, this is
Guys, this account is so cracked already. I've got three six stars in 30 pulls. This is wow. And look, Victoria is quite cute. You know what? I'll take that. I'll freaking take that. Let's let's freaking go. Holy crap. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's a five star. Okay, okay. Whoa, this is kind of creepy, but like really, really freaking cool. Dude, guys, the live 2D in this game is freaking nice. I really, really like it. Honestly, like I really hope that this game does pretty well. Obviously, there are some reservations, but like, you know, <laughs> what the heck? But but we'll see how it goes, right? I, I'm definitely going to be picking up this game. It's another five star. What is going on? This account is so cracked. AS staff, if you guys are seeing this, please let me keep this account. Like, oh my Lord, this is so sick. All right. We've got Victoria, the new six star. That's so lit. Mm. All right, I think I'm good for now, but I think that's kind of like the end of the video. I don't know if there is anything else to show. I guess there are a couple of things on the side. So you got your settings, like high, low graphics kind of thing. Screen adaptations. So like, you know, you guys with like the iPhones and stuff, like you can have the space. You can also edit your map style, which is nice because like it's not for everybody. They also have a color assist. Other than that, very, very standard stuff. So let me just go back and what is that? Okay, so that is just the sign in reward. So I can see that we get jammies like every week or so and it looks like we get a poll every month one poll i guess it's okay uh we'll, we'll see how we'll see how the rest of the income goes other than that we've got the messages so this is where you're going to be collecting all your good stuff and we've got this interesting one here which is where you talk to your waifus or husband or your units let's okay let's just let's stop being dgen your units but this is very very similar to like your uh, blue archive but probably like most of you have not played blue archive and um yeah, so look at that. So he's talking to me. I'm talking to him. You know, we're kind of communicating. We're doing some like bonding session. But yeah, you can do that with everyone. I believe that it increases like your friendship level kind of thing. But again, I'm not sure what that does yet, but just know that it exists. And I think that is kind of it. It's pretty comprehensive review of everything that I can see in the game right now. All right, now is the time where I actually talk about how I feel about the game. Let me go through all the pros. There is a lot of quality of life. The gacha seems quite generous, but we don't know until we can see the income rate. How the pity system is nice. I just hope that like when we get that six star is going to be the focus six star. Like imagine if there was an Iridan banner and like, you know, every time I hit, I didn't get Iridan. Like I'd be so, so annoyed. We'll see how they handle it. So I don't think they've actually like come out with it yet. Live 2D is really, really nice, especially on like almost everything that I can see. The character designs are really, really nice. So I think if you guys have like watched me, I'm really into like the classy, the really well designed characters. Like this is obviously like a really powerful bishop, right? And that's freaking sick. So other games like Ark Knights, you know, I really like those designs and this is kind of like right up the alley right so if i click on literally anyone random you can see like you know it's really really nice the upgrade systems and stuff everything seems like relatively straightforward you got ascensions you got breakthroughs you got like aurorian upgrades which is just your levels and i like simple because it means that it's going to be easy to pick up however something i want you guys to notice um so just yeah have a look at that like have a look at that just like some things you notice like have a look at that so i guess this is where i start talking about i suppose like where i'm concerned for the game the production value of the game is really good but it's like the attention to detail is not quite there. Like you can see down here, the breakthrough, the ascension and the Aurorian upgrade, like the text is like squished on two of them and it's looking okay on one of them. In Japanese or in Chinese or Korean, I bet it's going to look a lot better because they have a lot less characters. So there's like a lot less chance for it to be squished up like that. But it's kind of just stuff like this, this attention to detail that really makes you feel like the game is really polished. And so that is kind of like my first point. The game doesn't feel polished. Obviously, this is a closed beta testing and everything that you see here can be changed. But yeah, that's just one of the first things. Just like getting the fonts right, right? The second thing is like, I want to show you guys this. So you guys see like, it's kind of like, it's kind of laggy. I don't know if laggy is the right word, but it's kind of like really choppy when I'm navigating through the menus. It's not really like, it's just not really like ultra smooth. You know what I mean? I really wish that it felt a little bit more polished and like I could play this on like 60 FPS or something. Actually on this map screen, I just want to say like, you know, the map is so well designed. It's just, it's, it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous to look at. And talking about the aesthetics, I also I want to talk about like the music which I'm probably not going to be able to play in this video it's really nice music and it really like along with everything else it really creates a really really nice atmosphere so from an atmosphere point of view like immersion I am a big fan it's very like mystical it's very fantasy it's very like I'm really really like my mind is in the world they've definitely gotten the atmosphere right but yeah back to the cons I suppose let me just actually show you guys vice on my home screen this is a uh, I was quite shocked when I saw this so let me show you guys this uh and you guys can kind of see like this feels like a completely different game. I don't know why it looks like this, but like it's just stuff like this that really like drags the quality of the game down, especially when it's occupying like over 60% of my screen. I know it's such a small thing and you can just turn it off, right? But like it really just like 
contributes to the quality. And what a lot of gacha players are expecting these days is just like a solid, really good quality game. I think Alchemy Stars have done a lot of things right, including the voice acting, the live 2D, pretty easy to navigate, everything looks pretty clean and consistent. Just, I suppose, some of the text choices and the performance is what's really going to hold it back. The gameplay itself, the footage, there was no problem at all. It is really, really nice. Sometimes it was slightly laggy, but that is not something that I would critique it on. What I would critique it on is pretty much like the UI itself. Looking at this, it just feels like a 2010s game. And that's such a shame because the rest of the game is so good, except for like when you navigate through the menus, like everything just feels like a little bit choppy. Like imagine if everything was like silky smooth, so you can kind of see like the delay around it, right? Like you guys can compare it to like your Arknights or your Princess Connect. It's like silky smooth compared to this. But honestly, these kind of cons is not enough to drive me away from the game. In summary, I really love the gameplay. It is right up my alley. I really love the atmosphere, like everything that they're building. The story itself is quite good so far, and the gacha rate seems like really reasonable, to be honest. Those cons that I mentioned will not stop me from loving and playing this game. However, I do feel like it might stop some other people. On top of that, and I guess this is both a pro and a con, because Alchemy Stars is being launched simultaneously with like JP, KR, Global, and C, I believe that there is a way better chance of this game surviving than some other games that have been brought to global. And the reason is because like, you know, since there's no PvP or anything, which to me is a plus because I'm not a really big fan of PvP and gacha, I'm hoping that we're all located on the same servers and so like, you know, even if we're not pulling our weight on global, like Japan is pulling their weight. And the reason I say things like this is because like, you know, I'm like very nervous about the prospects of it surviving. We've got Punishing Grey Raven coming out, we've got Nier coming out, we've got My Hero Academia, we've got Counterside that just came out, we've got World Flipper coming out, we've got like Blue Archive coming out. There are just so many good gacha games that are coming out right now. And when I look at the English Twitter account, we've got like maybe 3k followers for AS. But on the other hand, we have like, I think 60k on the JP side. So what this all means, like the pro and the con, the pro is that I don't think we'll have our server taken away from us. But the con is that I guess the game is just not going to be that popular. Some people, they just really like to play popular games. I'm okay with this. And I really, really hope the game succeeds. But we'll just have to see how Tool Dog Studios like handles all of this. All right, guys, this was like a very, very long review. I hope you guys actually appreciate this. I don't think there's much left to be said or done except for change back to my Iridan. Like, look at my Iridan. Just look at it. She's freaking gorgeous. And like, it just still screams quality when I have Iridan. It's just Vice and like some of the other characters like where the live 2D is just like going crazy and really, really choppy. I really, really hope they fix it. But all right, let's just stop like rambling and let's wrap up this video. All right, guys, I've got a secret question for you guys. Are you guys hyped for this game? Because I am. I am actually really, really hyped. The gameplay, the story, the mood, like this capture is everything that I've wanted. It is a really, really niche game, but like it is right up my alley. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are hyped and why. What about it did you like? What did you like seeing today? And if you guys do drop that comment, I really do appreciate it because it means you've made it to the end of the video. You've somehow listened to me ramble on for like, I don't know, this video has gone on for like an hour and I really appreciate that. So thank you guys. But as always, guys, if you guys have found this video helpful or kind of entertaining, consider a like, a sub, a comment, a pin. You guys already know what to do. But otherwise, I am hyped for this game. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.